the offense tonight and last week doesn't really look like the offense we've seen up to this point. What's wrong? No, it's um, yeah, I, you know, it's it's this is hard to take. There's a lot of investment, and it's not good enough. I thought the defense played well enough for us to win. There, there's stuff we can clean up um, for sure, but uh, you know, there's you know, a multitude of things. It's easy to point fingers one way or another, but what I'll challenge the team um, and I'll uh, is to do exactly as I'm going to do, which is you're just accountable and look at everything you can do better. Um, it's not to our standard. It's extremely disappointing. Um, credit does go to uh, um, the, the Chargers. They executed a great game plan and um, really, really out physical to us, I thought. Uh, and so that it's, you know, football's a humbling game. And that, uh, you know, th these are the things that you have to learn as a team. Um, unfortunately, we, uh, we had to learn it the hard way. So that's, that's not, you know, for wh what we want to do with this team, that's not going to get us there. I need a better performance and it needs to start, or it will start with me because that's not, um, bottom line is, is we have a fully committed team and we haven't, like you said, really executed to our standard the last couple of weeks and um, nowhere else to look but myself. Have teams started defending your offense differently? Um, you know, I think that's always the case. Uh, you know, during the course of the season, um, things evolve. And, um, you know, the, I, I think that was happening during, that's been happening all season. Um, each and every week, there's kind of uh, a different um, uh, way a, a team chooses to attack you, uh, and so yeah, it, it it did evolve to a degree. But I, I think it was more um, about the uh, you know their their plan was better than ours, and um, they outplayed us in that phase. How would you assess the way Tua played specifically? Um, I thought he. Uh, I thought he did some some good things. There's some stuff that I think he would think he'd he'd want to have back, um, but really I was just kind of disappointed in the connection between him and uh, some of the eligibles. Uh, the all the uh, incompletions were definitely not um, on Tua. There was some, you know, when you miss opportunities. You know, I think we had a, uh, you know, something we work on all week and we've been working on all season. Uh, uh, a throw to Tyreek that I'll check it out on the film, but you know between um, Tyreek not being able to pick it up and uh, and to his throw. Um, bottom line is who cares what whose fault it is. Um, that needs to happen. I know Tua will expect that from himself, um, but he. I, I thought overall um, with the way the everyone was playing for us to win the game. He. Um, he'd probably have to do something great. I thought at moments he he did do some stuff. He competed uh, and gave us a chance to win. But you know, collectively, uh, quarterbacks are only as good as um, the the offense, and together we just weren't weren't good enough. Mike, have you ever seen anything like that 57-yard fumble that Tyreek was able to take in the end zone? Yeah, I feel like um, there's a I think from historical um, tape, you know, it, it. I don't think in a game, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't really find the ball at all. So that was unique. Um, that it was a scrum, and then somebody, somebody outside of it, outside of the scrum, had the ball and was running with it. Um, but, you know, th those type of things happen when you're hustling um, to block, and when you're hustling uh, and straining as offensive linemen. Um, sometimes when the ball does come out. You can find yourself uh, in a fortunate situation. So um, that was a big play that I was hoping would uh, get us out of our funk, and it didn't didn't really do uh, that as much as I had hoped. I know it's just several. So I know it's just several minutes after the game, and you spoke about the game plan, um, the Chargers game plan being better on defense. Um, in, in the aftermath, what adjustments do you think you could have made to get the offense kind of rolling when the middle of the field wasn't open? Um, you know, I think that's yeah, sometimes uh, the way I look at it as a coach is what was 
Um, the way that I look at it as a coach is um, it's a bottom line business and things have to work. And so um, sometimes you'll call plays and there'll still be open people. But if we're not executing it, then I need to have plays that uh, that guys will execute appropriately. Like we, um, you know, I feel like we were, we underproduced um, what our talent and skill level is. And so that that's why I, I it's a, it's a broad generalization, but I look squarely at myself and, you know, you got to figure that stuff out. But that, that is the nature of professional football um, that, that happens every single year. Uh, you, you, you know, sometimes it's a gut check that you have to kind of figure out how can you make sure that this doesn't happen again? How can you come into the game more prepared? And then um, how do you have answers for things that, um, you know, the other teams executing. So uh, bottom line is, is when I have a hard time um, blaming anybody else but myself to start uh, anytime things don't work. Um, and then then I'll turn the page and look at, uh, you know, were the players preparing themselves enough? Um, did, did they invest enough into uh, the game plan and the opponent? And, and once you do that, I, I've, I feel like they did a good job all week. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll comb the tape and, and um, uh, attack it, you know, with the next opportunity that we have uh, with the Buffalo Bills on Saturday night. So, um, no, we don't have – no one's in the business for feeling sorry for us. No one should. Uh, we have um, tremendous opportunities moving forward to uh, um, play to our standard. And, uh, and if our team wants to play together longer – then they're going to have to um, uh, adjust that standard as it is present and, and um, continue to improve. Mike, uh, two had a month there where it seemed like he couldn't miss, and now today he was 10 for 28 passing, and you know, he, missed, he didn't have a great game in San Francisco. What, what do you just ascribe it to? Is it, are they doing something defensively? Is it him? What's the um, again, I, th I think uh, – I, I think football is a humbling game, and um, you know people, uh, you know, adjust to certain things and present different um, issues. And um, I, I, I think there are probably a handful of those those uh, plays that will look at the tape and be like, "Man, you really, uh, you really can make this play here or there." Um, and then I think there's going to be a handful of plays that we're going to say that you know some of our eligibles. Um, weren't doing the job, and I think there will be a handful of plays that we, you know, it's hard to expect the quarterback to make a play when, uh, you know, the protection's off. So, collectively, um, I, I, I don't, I, I, I think that, you know, we, we just aren't playing together as an offense in the, in the way that I'd like, and, you know, I, I think you want to continue to progress and, and be your best um, in December and January, and you know we've had a lot of uh, a lot of reps at certain things, and uh, we should be better um, right now in this last two game stretch. But again, um, that you know it, it, it's a really cool time, realistically, um, you know, for a young team to to see what we're all about, um, so to speak, just because. Uh, you know, it, it's hard when you invest a ton and then you fall short. Um, and this this one, I think, uh, uh, you know, after last week, um, I don't think guys were prepared for this outcome. Uh, and so we'll, we'll learn a lot about um, people. And this, this is the nature uh, of the beast. You, you don't, besides um, one team, you, you don't go through seasons without uh, losing games and, um, you want to win them all, but the biggest thing is we have to learn from it. We can't just push it aside and say it was this, that, or the other. Um, you get a bunch of people, uh, like-minded people, holding themselves accountable and stepping up their game. Um, then we got a chance to uh, take these feelings of these t past two weeks and make them purposeful. Mike, is there any, I guess, escalated concern when struggles like this happen at this point in the season, maybe in December and January? Um, 
I, I would I wouldn't say that because the the bottom line is is uh, I, I I think you don't like that um, that type of output at any point. Um, you know, if if you have been if if you're a team that's all of a sudden trying to turn up, and uh, this happens, it it would worry me more. I think we've um, I think we've really really approached each and every week um, with diligence and 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 I think this is like any other situation where you know what we at one point we had three losses um, in a row and so we had to we had to end the streak at some point I think the same thing happens now I've been part of teams um, uh, two specific uh, you know, two teams and specifically that uh, ended up playing in the Super Bowl that had a a loss um, pretty pretty similar to the one um, that we had tonight, where you you have high expectations and you really take a punch to the gut, um, and then you, you, I've been on teams where you know it snowballed even further. So I think relative to where the year's at, I think you always want to continue to progress. We need, as long as we learn from all of it and start playing better football, you know, I don't really care when it is, it's going to hurt. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think our, our guys' expectations for what they feel they should be, um, this was probably the furthest miss that we've had all year. Um, so the, you really, really can't hide in these situations. You find out who who you're working with and who you're dealing with. Um, I know what they'll find out from me, and I'm excited to see what find out from them. Mike, we didn't see Tyreek in there in portions of toward the end of the game, and obviously Jeff Wilson got hurt. With the short turnaround to the Buffalo game, how much of a concern were those injuries? Well, I mean, uh, I, I think they're um, a, a legitimate concern. You know, we have uh, obstacles of, you know, flying across back back across the country on a short week, so we have to rest. Um, so regardless uh, if guys were injured or not, um, I think I'll have to um, tone it down a little bit so that we can reacclimate to the East Coast. Uh, but um, as far as I know. Uh, Nothing, nothing has been significantly ruled out for next week um, with regard to those two players. And, um, you know, we, uh, we're obviously our best versions of, our, of ourselves if they're both healthy. But um, bottom line is, is we'll, we'll play with whoever um, is healthy. And um, no one cares, uh, you know, about our problems. Our, our job is to go uh, right the ship. So that's what we'll start doing the second this press conference ends.